A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. God's kingdom is like an estate manager who went out early in the morning and hired workers for his vineyard. They agree on a wage of a dollar a day and went to work. Later, about nine o'clock, the manager saw some other men hanging around the town square unemployed. He told them to go to work in his vineyard and he would pay them a fair wage. They went. He did the same thing at noon and again at three o'clock. At five o'clock he went back and found still others standing around. He said, Why are you standing around all day doing nothing? They said, Because no one hired us. He told them to go to work in his vineyard. When the day's work was over, the owner of the vineyard instructed his foreman, call the workers in and pay them their wages. Start with the last hired and go on to the first. Those hired at five o'clock came up and were each given a dollar. When those who were hired first saw that, they assumed they would get far more. But they got the same, each of them a dollar. Taking the dollar, they growls angrily to the manager. These last workers put in only one easy hour and you just made them equal to us? Who slaved all day under a scorching sun? He replied to the one speaking for the rest. Friend, I haven't been unfair. We agree on the wage of a dollar, didn't we? So take it and go. I decided to give to the one who came last the same as you. Can't I do what I want with my own money? Are you going to get stingy because I am generous? Here it is again, the great reversal. Money of the first ending up last, and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, I am Father Jules Kuti Matthew, and this is Coffee with God. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. Everything is grace. The parable of the day laborers in the vineyard illustrates two key aspects of the kingdom of God. Firstly, God invites everyone to work for his kingdom regardless of the hour at which they are called. Secondly, God intends to reward everyone equally with eternal life. The parable emphasizes that God actively seeks out individuals to join his kingdom and lovingly includes everyone in his plan. Pope Francis urges the church to go out to the peripheries and offer them the word of salvation in the same way that God always goes out in search of his people because he is a father and he loves. The church must take God against falling ill by remaining indoors and instead risk the possibility of accidents by venturing out to spread the gospel. The apparent injustice of the owner serves to provoke the listeners. But Jesus is not speaking about a fair wage to the workers, but about the kingdom of God. There are no unemployed people in God's kingdom. Everyone is called to do their part. And there will be a reward for everyone. God's reward is not based on the quantity or the excellence of your work, but rather it's a free gift. 
God always provides the highest reward and gives it in full that we may have life, life in its fullness. The gospel emphasizes the importance of grace in our lives and salvation. It highlights the idea that God's grace goes beyond what we deserve. And those who try to understand God through reasoning may find themselves at a disadvantage. Overall, the text emphasizes the concept of grace as a significant aspect of God's relationship with his beloved children.